Well, state softball and baseball both started and go through Friday. Local 5 will have you covered throughout the week. Jake Brend is in Fort Dodge for softball for the 4A coverage from this afternoon. I said it earlier and I'll say it again. I have no scientific data to back this up, but I'm pretty sure today is the best weather ever for a state tournament day in Iowa. I love it. The players love it. The fans love it. Let's see the action. Number seven winner set up 3-0 on number two Carlisle. Runners on for Avery Darling. That ball falls in center for a run. The Huskies take a commanding four zip lead. Same inning, two runners on for McKenna Olson. She sneaks it through the infield and winner set rolls over Carlisle. ADM and the hometown team, Fort Dodge bases juiced for the Dodgers. Maggie Ellsbecker flares one into shallow right. You can't put it anywhere better. Two runs cross the plate and Fort Dodge goes up 2-1. Same inning, two runners on. Hope Alstat pokes one up the middle and Fort Dodge goes on to win 8-3. Even though they lost three All-State players last year to graduation, they've rebuilt by getting in the ring. I told the girls, how about we box? So we took a nine-time uh, world champion Golden Gloves boxer that lives here in Fort Dodge, Ronnie Wallstrom, and he taught us how to punch. And so we we fought. We legit fought and did that as a warm-up before any time we hit and any time we did anything. And these kids are fighters, and I'm very proud of them. Number one, North Polk got down early to number eight. North Scott came back and tied it, but just didn't have enough to get over the hump. The number one overall seed, North Polk, gets upset in the quarterfinals. Norwalk and Western Dubuque in the 4-5 game. The Bobcats got a run in the top of the first, but the bottom was all Norwalk. Zadie Waddle rips a two RBI single up the middle to put Norwalk up 3-1. Still in the first, Kaylee Carey ropes a double into center field. Norwalk goes up 4-1. And they win big to move on to the semis. That wraps up a great day of state softball out here. And Brad, I just have one request. Can you make every day this week this nice? It was awesome out here. Reporting in Fort Dodge, Jake Bren, Local 5 Sports. And for all you at home, that got a good chuckle out of Brad right there. All right. Uh, before the 4A games were the 5A quarterfinals. Here are those scores. Jake has all of those highlights, the celebrations and reactions online at weareiowa.com.